Pre-order the Clownfish TV comic book right now on Indiegogo. Go to clownfishtvcomic.com. That's clownfishtvcomic.com. This is a fun collection of all new comic strips based on dumb stuff we've said on the show. Again, that's clownfishtvcomic.com. You're going to have to hurry. We're only taking pre-orders for a limited time. Now we're going to get back into the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkle. Hello. And we're going to talk about that thirst trap. That thirst trap, Henry Cavill? No, the other thirst trap. Kelly Cox. No, the other thirst trap. Neon. No. Oh, I was going to say like Scarlett Johansson. I don't know. We're, we're talking about her, but we're going to talk about her later. We're going to talk about uh, Simu Liu. Oh, no. R see, remember that, that guy? That would not be something I'd say was a thirst trap. He makes me thirsty. No, actually. He makes you want to drink. Does that he count? Makes, there you go. He makes <laughs> you want to drink. So we're going to talk about this. This is uh, Inside the Tragic, but it's kind of funny because he's getting pissed off again. This guy has what got. What isn't he pissed off? This guy has got a hell of a temper. Like, look. Do you dude, need a hug? I think he does. I think he's, no, because then you might grab his ass. No, no, him. no. Put your arms around yourself and squeeze, dude. Yeah, go hug yourself. Just, you know, or Go just hunters. pretend one of us is hugging you. <laughs> so, Sumi Liu, who is known, is is prone to uh, uh, ranting online about literally everything. Tantrums, but okay. Literally everything. Uh, now is angry that the, the Huffington Post g uh, gave him a compliment. They said he was a, a talented Asian thirst trap and he didn't like it. He's an effing Actually, actor. I would have picked Manny over him any day of the week. But that's just oh, me. that's that guy you like, right? I would have picked him over him any day, any day of the week. I mean, I'm not saying he's he's like he, no. Trust me, I like you better. But I, I just that I, is if the you have to choose answer. between the two of them, I would pick him. Well, maybe he'll get maybe for both he'll, acting and appearance. But ma you maybe know. he'll get replaced as a variant in one of these well, movies. This is <laughs> yeah. This is Simula Yu who, who had a hissy shit fit. It's and not just a hissy fit. It's not just it's a, a shit, shit fit. fit. It's a hissy that's shit right. fit. That's right. Yes. Because that's what I think of him. That's what I think of. He had a fit because back when Shang-Chi came out, he did some tweet and then said about all the people dunking on the movie and saying it didn't do well. Thing is, what was funny was we were actually, he had us on the list. And what we had said was that we felt Disney was shafting them on marketing and taking all their marketing money and trying to put it into Eternals, which we didn't think it was fair. And we saw the movie and it was actually a pretty good movie, one that we would watch again. And for me, that's a compliment. If I watch it again, that's high praise. And he was mad and put us on a list of haters. I'm like, bitch, please. We actually we went actually, that for you. We actually did. You know, it's funny though, and I, I talked about this before, and I'm just going to say it again. It's show business, folks. We put things in the thumbnails to get you in the door. But and who then cares? If you actually, yeah, if you actually click, that's cool. But we don't usually say the things that people think we're going to say. Do you know who else doesn't think that he's a thirst trap? China. Because I remember when we did the video when they had the... He was the, too ugly. Yeah, he said he was too ugly. He was too ugly for China. Yes. Oh, God. Him and Adam Driver. Oh, I remember he had a meltdown because they had the celebrity look like Cam and they put a guy out because he was Asian and they said it looked like Cam and he had yeah. a hissy and probably made the guy feel bad. Yeah. He's like, well, no, he's a good looking dude, but he's, he doesn't look like me at all. And he didn't look like him. He wasn't wrong. But he had a meltdown and probably made the guy feel absolutely horrible. Are they are they actually doing another Sean Chi or not? I don't know. I, I mean, it made Uncle okay. Pete is out there rude and scuttle. I don't know. <sighs> That's a whole nother video too. So we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, Samu Liu is not gonna give us a woohoo. Uh, you can get more objective Disney news at PiratesAndPrincesses.net, and we can do it with all of, without all the. Um, Tragic headlines of Inside the Tragic, mm -hmm. but we are going to use their article because this is kind of funny. I didn't, uh, I didn't see this one, um, but yeah, Huffington Post put this article out. We love Simu Liu, but he's not the only talented Asian thirst trap in Hollywood, guys. And this was from like a month ago. This is from like a while ago, and he just caught on. Was it written by an Asian writer? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know. It looks yeah. like guest writer. By the name, it could be. Yeah. So, um. On April 11th, Huffington Post, which is somehow still alive, Huffington owned by BuzzFeed, by the way. That's I, they have to they have to publish articles like this to survive. Huffington Post published an article from guest writer uh, Ian Kumamoto titled "We Love Simu Liu, but he's a thirst trap. It's not the only thirst trap." Yeah, don't get us wrong. He said we love Liu, and we're all for an Asian king thriving. 
I'm sure it's not throbbing. But when a single actor appears to be getting the bulk of Asian male roles in Hollywood, it's what? Well, what about the Crazy Rich Asians guy that got the beast snake, snake eyes? eyes yeah. The longest time, unless they were in Crazy Rich Asians, you never saw these. These are the actors that they seem to hire. That was the first guy that came. God, what was uh, Gold, Golding? Henry Golding? Oh, Henry Golding. Yeah, yeah um, that was the first guy that came to mind when I was thinking about him. Like, he's in everything now. Um, it starts to feel a little less like representation and a lot more like tokenism. The article continues. All we're saying is we don't want a predominantly white Hollywood to gatekeep sexy Asian male representation. Hey, you know what? I am with you on that one. <laughs> Just saying. And so am I. <laughs> okay. Surprise. No. Um, yeah, United. All right. Give me... No, you're not going to fist bump me? Okay. Whatever. You're going to have to fight me for him. No. Uh, anyway. Uh <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Hollywood is trying to gatekeep sexy male Asians, apparently. There's so many other attractive and talented Asian men who deserve to be seen and appreciated and leered at and drooled over by the general public. I added, I added, yeah, added well, to that. Um, K-drama, trust me. Yeah, right? Well, seriously. The author went on to list seven other actors. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't really care. We're going to go down here. Although the article was written around a month ago, similarly, it was slow to the uptake. Uh, responded to it recently, commenting on the Facebook post for the article. Way to attempt to put us against one another. What bulk of roles are you referring to? Are there movies that I'm in that I'm not aware of? Do you really think there's a quota of Asian male roles in a zero-sum game? Everything I've been taken, everything I have taken post Shang-Chi was not written Asian. We've been able to reshape stories, get more representation on screen, get your facts straight. Uh, I'm also not a thirst trap. I'm a fucking actor. Okay. Well, he came with things. Wait, way to put us against each other. Yes. Hello, where have you been? They do this all the time with female actors, with male actors, with any kind of actor. Doesn't matter what race you are. Um, they will pit actors against each other all the damn time. Oh, yeah, actresses, yeah. actors, whatever. They will pit you against each other all the time about roles. Why couldn't this actor be in this role? Why couldn't that actor be in a role? Also, it's interesting because he just basically, you know, told everybody that they that they were parts that weren't written Asian, but. They gave it to him anyway and changed it for him, there which, you, you know, I mean, I personally am on the belief that there, there's a perfect actor for a role and it might not necessarily be based on race. So I can see that where you have like a, a character written one way and then you find an actor you're like, no, no, this person is that character who happens to be a different race. They might make some changes. You know, there shouldn't be that many changes necessary to adapt it. Just like Olivia Newton-John in Greece. Okay. She was a different race. She was Australian. Oh, that's not and originally, that's a nationality. That's Sandy, different. Really? Uh, originally, Sandra D was from like Jersey or something. I forget, but yeah, they they're like, oh, hey, she's Australian. So, yeah, they, they changed worse. it to fit her. But yes, yeah, no, I mean, so you're basically admitting that they go around changing all kinds of roles to fit you. Yes, I, I I think that. Pitting them against each other is nothing new. It's not a race issue. People do it all the time with actors and actresses they like and don't like. Um, I, I personally would love to see a lot more Asian actors in Hollywood. I think they've been, you know, especially, shafted a lot. Especially hot ones. Mm, shafted. <laughs> what the heck? Thirst trap. That's why I watch my K-drama. Besides the fact that the writing's better. So this is, look, this is this is a thing, and this is one thing I've noticed about uh, Asian cinema and Asian movies, is they really like their attractive they do. actors and actresses. Like, they really, like, they passed on Star Wars because they're like Adam Driver, Daisy Ridley, just not hot enough. Somehow they were hotter. Yeah, that, that, that Dylan is what they put in a lot of their movies now. Dylan... Dylan looks like a chick. I know. Actually, Dylan's, Dylan's very young, so I have to stop where I'm at. But Dylan... Yeah, you better stop where you're at. That's what they're considering hot. And okay. then some Mula Yu's who they don't consider hot. Yeah, so they they, they certainly have... Like, look, just, just in my casually uh, peeking in on Geeky's uh, K-drama habits to make sure I'm not in any danger of getting dumped for Dylan Wang here. I don't think um, so. He's like, you know, way younger than me. Okay. Well, that doesn't stop him. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> uh, but, but uh, anyway, um, I have noticed that all of their actors are incredibly good looking. I'm just saying it's a compliment, Mr. Liu, that they're calling you a thirst trap. Every time I, you say that, I think of Zoolander. They're just incredibly Good looking. You're just incredibly good looking. Yeah. So um I um I just think it's 
I just think it's funny that he's angry that they're actually giving him a compliment. They are. They're he's like, angry about everything. No, well, I, yeah, they're saying that. They're, well, no, they are. Are they though? Because they're like, there's more. You know, yeah, I guess they are. There's more really hot Asian actors than just him. And then he's taking it as, well, you're pitting us against each other, taking roles for me. But then he just got. But then he turns around and says, "But there's been lots of roles been given to me that weren't written for an Asian actor, which is good. I think that the actor might come in and not, you know, be a completely different race, but nails it. And they're like, yep, this is the person, you know." I, you know, if somebody said, hey, Neon's got a really hot ass, and let's do a story about it. He does. I do? Well, yeah. I, I but I'm biased. I, I don't thirst after my own ass. That would be weird on so many levels. But, but uh, I, you know, I would kind of be flattered. Like, thank you for noticing my peach. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's awesome. If you want to pit my ass against somebody else's ass for who's got the best ass... I, I feel flattered to be among those who have been chosen. They're considered it, ass It's just an honor to be nominated. <laughs> it's just an honor to be nominated for the best ass award. Uh, <laughs> We're talking butts, not just behavior, right? Yeah, well, somebody, because you might be able to get some of you for best ass award. He, based on look, behavior. I'm going to be, dude, and I know you're probably not going to listen to this, or if you do, it's going to be like six months down the road, right? And we actually gave your movie a, a pretty good review all things considered it's actually been one of the better phase four things right Mm -hmm. um this guy like really needs to pick his battles because he he really needs to stop talking he's He's like going to war with the ceo of disney he's like going to war with it's like dude they could why are you not getting roles i don't know maybe because you're difficult maybe i I think he's definitely getting an attitude or like a reputation for being difficult anytime someone says something he doesn't like he's like you know on the internet yelling about it i I still the the, the picture the celebrity look like picture I mean, I get what he's saying, but it also could be like, couldn't you just let it go and let the guy be happy? And they give, oh, I look like him, yay. Yeah. But no, you couldn't. You couldn't let it go. We don't all look alike. You're right, you don't. But I've seen them put pictures up of women who are supposed to look like a celebrity and they don't look like, other than their hair might be the same color or cut. I've seen them put up guys and say they look like a celebrity and they look nothing like them. You know, yeah, it's it, it's it, you know, they're just trying to do feel good, man. That's all they're trying to do. I don't know. It might I- be an insult actually for people, but you know. Anyway, uh, you know, this is like, uh, it just it blows my mind. Like, people dunk on the guy, he gets angry. They give him praise, he gets angry. They do this, he gets angry. He basically he gets, and what's going to happen is. You won't like me when I'm angry. We don't like you most times, so I guess that's they right. They should have him play Amadeus Cho. That's the uh, the Gogurt Hulk, the uh, Asian Hulk. Oh, I was very confused. Yeah, they call him Gogurt Hulk because it's his color. Anyway, um. Is he pink? No, he's sort of like really day glow, day glow green. Oh, I get it, because there's yeah. cut, cut yogurt, so... Yeah, so anyway... I was uh, like thinking pink yogurt for some are, are we going to wrap this one up? Yeah. Uh, Samu Leo is angry. Neon's got a hot ass. Geeky's thirsting after K-drama. Youngins... Well, that's, a, that's a C-drama. That's a Chinese one. C-drama, youngins, whatever... It's not me, but that's okay. You do you. That's okay. You can you can, you can can have that. I'll give you that one. Okay. Just as, long as, <laughs> just, just... just as long as you're watching from a distance. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, and then Love just you. pretend. You make me sound terrible. And I'm not. Just pretend I am. I am hot Chinese, twenty-two-year-old guy with a really good ass. <laughs> yeah, a couple of them, right? A couple of asses. No, you have oh, okay. lists. Okay. All right, we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. I won't pretend you're smooth, you. Oh, God no. Oh God no. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.